Parkinson's disease research clinic um, that I started um, probably back in about 2009 officially, um, before that 2008 we had some test runs, um, has been basically assessing patients um, with both Parkinson's, related diseases like progressive supranuclear palsy, multiple system atrophy, Lewy body dementia, idiopathic REM sleep behavior disorder, and a range of other conditions that we've seen. Um, we now have assessed over a thousand people and many of those have been kind enough to come through over the years, generally every couple of years now because the numbers have blown out. The research clinic for me has always represented the, the core of everything that we do. Effectively, we rely on patients, and many people will have heard me say, look, we can't do our research using hamsters or fruit flies. We, we need the real deal. Um, and effectively, we're very grateful for our patients who come in and give their time to us. The session generally lasts about three hours, um, and in those three hours you'll have a clinical assessment with people like myself and the research nurses. Um, you'll have some memory testing as a second session, and a third session where we'll have a look at things like your senses, your sense of smell, your, your ability to see properly, and also the higher order functions of vision. And often um, when you come in you'll be uh, asked to engage with some of the other, if you like, more research uh, areas. This is a, 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 an aspect of the research clinic that I've been keen um, to, to utilize for all of the time it's been open where when we're thinking of new paradigms and things that will test um, various aspects of Parkinson's disease, uh, we'll trial them in our research clinic, see how patients get along with them, and it gives us that pilot data that we need to say, okay, this is how we're going to go forwards with that thing. We're also there to if you like, document uh, your disease. So uh, we will generally give a report back to your doctor and if you want your specialist, not every patient at the research clinic is under me by any stretch, in fact the minority would be under myself. And effectively it's a good way of us being able to answer some of your questions. A lot of patients who come to the research clinic are very interested in the research that we do but also what's going on in the world and often there isn't time in a busy consultation to have a chat about those things that come up and we're always delighted when people come along with their questions, that's a good thing. Coming back repeatedly um, allows you and us to track your progress. Am I getting worse, doctor? If I am, what things should I do to work upon that? And also, coming through our research clinic, if you like, puts you on the radar for all of the other research uh, that we are doing, um, whether it involves some of the interventional trials that we're doing, or some of the, if you like, more basic neuroscience questions where we're trying to, if you like, understand what's going on with your disease. I guess in sum what I would say is that the research clinic is one of the proudest achievements that I have um, and I'm delighted to say that it's going strong and I'm very grateful for everybody who wants to support it and if you'd like to come along and be assessed please don't hesitate to get in touch.